I am thrilled to be at the C.E. Magruder Community Garden in North Nashville today. A wonderful place where neighbors get together, share how to grow food, enjoy it together, and really just have a wonderful time in this beautiful place. We are so happy to be here with Lathram Berry, who is with the Nashville Food Project. And this is a gorgeous community garden right here in the middle of the neighborhood on, I don't know, whose property? Yeah, so this is Metro Nashville Public Schools property. There are many stakeholders that are have their hands in the mix um, in this space. Um, we've been here since 2014, helping steward it. It's such a beautiful food garden, and more and more we hear all kinds of tales of agriculture. So why is this so important to have in the neighborhood? Yeah, so this has been a resource for the community since 2009. And it started from a few folks um, that live in the neighborhood. They live two blocks down the street and was their idea. And so it was their solution to the fact that we are existing in um, North Nashville, which is a neighborhood experiencing food apartheid. It's a food desert that doesn't have access to land. You're growing some wonderful things. So right now we have a three sisters garden growing with corn beans and squash. We have okra and eggplant, tomatoes. We've got three kinds of tomatoes growing. We are trying to use every square inch of space right now. We even have a mushroom patch up front. Um, that we're trying some mushrooms and some wood chips. Do you all have individual plots? Is, is it a group? Is it managed? How does yeah. this work? So basically at the beginning of the season, we have 25 people that sign up. We have prioritized people that live in this neighborhood of North Nashville, but also everyone deserves access to land. And so we have folks that come from other places too. And they sign up for a work day. So they sign up for one work day a week and then they come work and take home veggies. So it's almost like a work trade with learning and community a part of that. I imagine that one of the benefits out here is gardeners learning from each other. Totally, that happens all of the time. We actually have one gardener who's an arborist, nutritionist, dietitians, herbalist. Now, all this yummy produce, what happens to it? Yes, that's a great question. So um, first and foremost, it goes to the people that are growing it. And so the 25 folks that come here throughout the week, they take that produce home, we share recipes with each other, recipes that our grandmas make and our moms make, we swap those. And then the next step is usually going to support some of the seniors that get commodity food boxes out of the Magruder Center. The Magruder Center actually has a food pantry, so we support that sometimes. And then we also will do a free stand out front because everyone deserves access to food that they want, whether they are contributing to that growing process or not. So we want to share it with everyone that we can. And then last stop, if we ever have leftovers, we'll either take to the community fridge off on Buchanan or we'll take back to our kitchen to incorporate into our meals. What a fun way to get great food to everybody. Now I want to talk to some of your gardeners, so let's go meet them. Sounds great. Karan, I love being out in this garden, okay. and I understand you're a certified herbalist. Yes, so I want you to tell me about something really cool I can do with elderberries. Okay, so elderberry is one of my favorite herbs. It really helps when it comes to boosting your immune system, getting rid of any cold or fevers, and kind of just strengthening everything inside of the body. One of my favorite things to do with this is kind of um, mix it with my honey. Um, the, a lot of the nutrients and toxins from the honey pull out a lot of the um, products from the elderberry. So it kind of makes the elderberry honey, and I like to use it a lot with some of my other teas. For example, if I'm making a um, lavender tea to help with sleep and I want to mix some of my elderberry, elderberry honey with it, it just, it, overall is really healthy for you and it's actually really delicious, so. Oh, this is great. I am mm -hmm. going to enjoy my elderberries so much more this year knowing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. John and Margaret Beach, I'm so excited to meet you because I know you're integral to this garden getting started. Yeah. So tell yeah. me a little bit about how you got started with it. Yes. Well, it started off as we as a uh, neighborhood watch program, and we are the street leaders on 25th Avenue North. So we heard they were going to do something about this old school building. And so we, we inquired what was going on to find out Matthew Walker wanted to make a resource center out of it. And so Matthew Walker and director, Ms. Tracy Henderson, met with us in the community, and we decided, said, okay, what we will do. And 
she sat down, made programs up and all, brought all kind of programs in, into the building. And then one evening, as, as a barrister council meeting, she said, you know, other resource center have a, a community garden. Would you all be arrested, interested in it? I said, well, we might. She said, I'm going to inquire about it. And she found out what the situation was and how to set one up. And we had next a fires a council meeting. We said, OK, we'll go with it. And then she said, well, how are we going to? I said, I don't know about no garden. <laughs> and so we had a lady that taught uh, economics at McGavick High School. And uh, she said, well, I know some people at TSU probably could help you all on this. And so she contacted them. And they came over and we sat down and talked. And they came out and plowed that field up out there, oh, almost half, over the half of the field, and marked it off for us and showed us how to plant seeds, et cetera, et cetera, and how to water it, and said, it's in y'all's hands, so y'all take care of it. But we, we didn't have no tools, so <laughs> Ms. Henderson found some money and said, said, well, we need some tools, but we need somebody to go get them. So I had an old truck. I said, I'll go get them. <laughs> so we went out to, uh, I believe it's Lowe's, way out on Olesville Road. And I hope we can put a boy out that way somewhere. And we loaded it up and brought all the tools here, you name it, picks, uh, you name it, whatever, the shovels and all. And we all got out there and started working and weeding the garden and everything. And a tremendous crop began to grow. And we began to uh, uh, harvest the crops. And we would uh, take and set inside the center there. And as people come to the center, uh, on programs and things. We have bags there. If they wanted one, they could take it. And also, the community, those in the community, could not make it. Elder people we would bag up stuff and carry them in that could not uh, come to the center. The Nashville Food Project came in and began to help us. And we had two, I think, two directors since then that came in and showed us how to plant and uh, help the garden move forward. And uh, look at it now, we see it's beautiful and our people asking, what can they do, you know, to come down? A lady the other day asked how she could get involved and I told her, just check in the office and sign up. I'm really pleased with it and I'm happy. Uh, I've been with it ever since it started, my wife and I, and we've just been working along with everybody they sent in here and everybody seems to uh, fall in love with us and look after us when we come down. We're both in our 80s now, so. Everybody's looking out for us, but we're still involved in it. Yes, sorry. What a fun, fun place. Now, yes. I can't help but ask, Margaret, what is your favorite vegetable or fruit out of the garden? Uh, just everything. I love everything in here. I, I'm going to be naming all the vegetables in the garden. Because <laughs> I'm actually from the country, so that's we had, you know, we grew the garden in the country, so. It was wonderful to be able to just come and pick and get these vegetables. And uh, I cook them and he eats them. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, so. so yes, yeah, so. It's, it's beautiful it's to have it, you know, to have it here in our community. We love to come down and yeah, work in here. We need to meet new people and uh, we enjoy it. So our goal is just keep doing what we can, just keep this garden prosperous. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.